Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to have a go at this equation and solve for x. OK, the first thing to notice is that 8, 4 and 64 are all on your 2 power table. That means that we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 all raised to the power of x minus 7 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by x plus 1 and that equals 64 which is 2 to the power of 6. Now if we utilize the rule that says that if we've got a number raised to a power and that's all raised to another power then we can rewrite that as that number raised to those powers multiplied together. That means we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by x minus 7 and 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by x plus 1. And that all equals 2 to the 6 still. Next we're going to utilise the rule that says if we've got a number raised to a power and that's multiplied by the same number raised to a different power then that equals that same number raised to those powers added together. Therefore we can rewrite this as 2 and I'm going to expand this out as we go along to the power of 3x minus 21 plus 2x plus 2 and that all equals 2 to the power of 6. Now if the bases are the same we know that the powers must be the same therefore if I write down just the powers and group them together we get 5x minus 19 equals 6 and rearranging we get 5x equals 6 plus 19 which is 25 therefore x equals 5. Did you get it? Okay that's it just the short one today so why not treat yourself to one of my other videos coming up now. See you tomorrow.